<clears throat> so, um, let me tell you guys about, uh, um, if you search on my channel, you'll see testimonies of how God saved my life. And I, what I'm going to mention in this video is already mentioned in that video, but I'm going to mention it again so people don't have to keep scrolling down over 500 videos of mine. Um, so, um, and it's cool to reshare this every now and then because uh, with new people and God wants me to reshare this because God's happy that I share this, that he saved my life himself, not, um, he saved his, in my life himself. Uh, the paramedics did not save my life. He, God himself saved my life because the paramedics would not have made it in time. No, I didn't cut an artery. No, I didn't slip my wrists or anything like that. I do have a history of uh, self-harming and slashing, a, severing a vein in my hand and stuff and bleeding out a lot. But um, that's not what this video is. Um, this video is completely different, but I literally was the closest to death that I've ever been. Um, all right, so let's get started. Um, Back in, I, I, I'm a monster energy drink consumer. I drink about one to two a day um, for years, and I'm addicted to it, the caffeine in it. If I don't drink it for a few days, I get these terrible withdrawal symptoms. I feel weak. I feel ill. I feel like about, like, like I'm going to faint, like I have a bad cold. I didn't go, I, I, I went two days without drinking monster. Um, before and I took a shower and I almost fell down almost fainted in the shower then after the shower I got a monster out drank it and in within an hour those uh, withdrawal symptoms uh, vanished so it's definitely from the lack of caffeine um, like co like a uh, cold turking off without um, taking myself off um, slowly. I just stopped completely for two days. That's just, that's, that's no. So it's basically healthy for me to drink them than without drinking them because without drinking them, I get sick. Um, I get a cold, I get withdrawal symptoms, I get weak. I can't even ball fist up completely uh, tightly. I feel like fainting. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, that's, those aren't healthy with, uh, withdrawal symptoms. So it's healthier for me to drink them than it is to not. And I stay in low portions. Well, now I do. Not back in November or December of 2014, which I'm about to get to. But now I stay in low, low portions, one or two a day. It's not going to screw around with my heart because it's not that much. It's only... Um... One second, you guys. Hundred and fifty mg of caffeine per five hundred and ninety one milliliters of monster, and I could drink two of those uh, in a day. Well, I could drink three or four of them too, but I that's just that's that's pushing, that's risking. But um, so, anyways, let's go back. So it doesn't mess with my heart or anything because it gets it's not enough to screw around with my heart. Maybe in long, a long term, like maybe in like 50 years from now, sure. But um, but the rapture is most likely going to happen within the next 15 years. Um, I surely hope so. I don't know for sure when. So you guys would never hear me set rapture dates. Never. Never, ever. There's this dude named LLC, Saving Lives LLC. His name is Cameron Barnett 777. Well, that was his last, uh, his previous uh, YouTube um, name. But back in May of 2019, I was watching his videos. It came up in my recommendation videos. Um, this before I had even any content on my channel. And, um, he was saying, he was setting rapture dates. 
that the rapture is going to happen in May of 2019. And I was watching them in April. And I was like, oh crap, that's only next month. Jesus Christ is coming back next month. Oh crap, I've been living in sin. I have to repent. I'm going to hell. Because, see, back then in 2019, I was still doubting my salvation and still thinking that I could get pulled away from God so much to where I could lose my salvation. But as you can see in my other video, the uh, one where God says we can't lose our salvation that I just made yesterday, um, we can't. Uh, so, um, or if you watch the video that says, I'm turning from sin, which I also made like last night. So, um, all right, let's get started. Back in November or December of 2014, don't remember which month, um, I got saved in September 6th, 2014. So if I had died, I would have gone uh, to heaven still. So, but I didn't die because I'll get to that in a second. Um, it's incredible, though. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, after I uh, after you watch it, but anyways, I did not know anything about caffeine back then. Nothing. I was drinking monsters here and there, not every day, not all the time, but here and there. I was drinking monsters. I was binge drinking. Binge drinking means drinking them off and on, not all the time, but off and on, off and on, off and on, occasionally. Well, not occasionally. It was like still like every like a few times like every week but not every single day um maybe like two times a week but that's before I got addicted to uh caffeine so I didn't get withdrawal symptoms or anything um anyways I did not know anything about caffeine back then each can it was the original monster energy drink that's carbonated, but it was the blue one. The blue one is, the only difference in the blue and the green one is not the ca not a caffeine difference, same exact amount of caffeine, is sugar um, and calories. So they turn down those, the volume of, ca or not cavities, calories and sugar, MG. Um, each can of those still had 150, 156 mg of caffeine in each one can. I drank five of them within three, three hours. All right, listen to this. I had no, I, I was so stupid. I had no idea what was, uh, what, how dangerous caffeine was. So I was testing it to see how long it takes to get out of my system. So I drank one and I drank one right after that. So that was two in a row. Then I waited about 20, 30 minutes, drank another one. Waited about 20 minutes, drank another one. And then I drank another one. Might have waited a while again uh, before I drank that one, but I can't remember. Um, and so that's, that's five right there. Two, three, and I waited like 20, 30 minutes and I drank two more, or not, like an hour, um, and waited, or I, and drank two more. So that's five. Two plus three equals five. So, um, nothing happened at first. Um, it, it took like an hour and a half or something like that for them all to kick in at once in my system. Um... This is even more, um, I was, I was certain that I was going to die. I wasn't certain 100% that I was going to die when I got robbed at gunpoint. Uh, if you scroll down my several videos of mine, you will see testimonies, uh, robbed at gunpoint testimony or something like that. And I mentioned that, um, 
So, uh, but I knew 100% that I was about to die, that I was going to die if I didn't do something about it. And it wasn't me that did something about it. Well, it was me, but I'm not the one who saved my life. I'm the one who prayed to God to save my life. So I, uh, about an hour or an hour and a half later, I, my stomach started hurting and I went to the bathroom. Yes, it's going to sound kind of gross, but this is a truthful, truthful channel. So I, I say the truth on here. Um, I went to all that caffeine in your system. It's your system's poisoned. Your body's poisoned. And your body is trying to get it out. And I didn't throw up, so it decided to send me flying to the toilet, um, to race to the toilet, to Niagara Falls, into the toilet. Again, I'm not trying to sound disgusting, but uh, that's it's actually true. Um, that much poison, caffeine is poison if you have too much, in your system will make you have major diarrhea because... Di yeah, this is going to sound really gross, but I'm sorry. Diarrhea is liquid poo, right? But my body had no choice but to give me liquid poo because it wanted to get rid of all the liquids in my entire body all at once because it knew how much caffeine was in my system. And it knew that it was in danger. So it was trying to get rid of all of my liquids in my system, digestive system, all at the same time. So... I was like at a massacre of, you know, flooding the toilet, um, quote unquote. Um, but while I was sitting there on the Tuesdays, um, something in me started feel. I was feeling like I wasn't feeling right. I was feeling wrong. Something was really, really wrong with me. Um, then all of a sudden my heart, or not my heart, not yet, but it was beating not normally a little bit, but, um, uh, I was starting to have panic attacks. I was freaking out for no reason. It was the caffeine in my system and in my brain that made me completely flip the heck out. Um, so I was flipping out. So if you have too much caffeine, a little bit too much caffeine you have panic attack. But if you have a deadly, fatal amount of caffeine to which it will kill you, for sure, 100%, that you know that you're screwed and that you're not going to survive this, you won't only have a terrifying panic attack, but also a terrifying anxiety attack at the same time. Two at the same time. So that's what was happening to me. And then my heart started racing out of my chest. It was skyrocketing in heart rate. Um, my heart rate was like, you know how it beats like 20 times every 20 seconds or something like that? Because I felt my heartbeat before and um, I counted each uh, heartbeat. It was only one heartbeat per second. So, uh, so 20 seconds, that's 20. 30, it's 30 heartbeats, uh, it's 60, uh, a minute, that's 60 heartbeats. Well, guess what? It was like 70 heartbeats in like 20 seconds. So my heart was beating completely out of me. Um, it felt like it was going to explode out of my chest, like alien, those xenomorphs that come out of people's chests, but it being with my heart. Um... And not only that, but the other scary, really scary thing is, I could hear my heartbeat. I could hear my heartbeat pounding. It was loud. And I could feel my heartbeat without even touching my chest. And if I touched my chest, the vibrations of my heartbeat made my hands shake. It shook my hand because the vibrations of the heartbeat were so strong. And I was freaking out anxiety attack, and panic attacks at the same time. I was just flipping out. And I was like, I knew 
Zach, you, you're screwed. You're, you really did it this time. You've really done it this time. You're not going to survive this. You're going to die within at least a minute. If you call, don't even dare call 911. I had my phone with me and I was thinking about calling 911, but something in me said, Zach, please don't. Don't be stupid. Don't be foolish. You really think 911 that takes like five or six minutes, like 10 minutes to get to you? will really end up being able to get there in time when you're literally about to die in less than a minute. And I was, uh, then I locked my phone and put it on the floor in the bathroom, and I was like, oh, crap. Oh, crap. I was like, oh, crap. I was saying O-S, O-S, H-I-T, O-S, H-I-T. Oh, crap. O-S, H-I-T, O-S, H-I-T, O-S, H-I-T. I'm going to die. This is how I die, really? Taking a diarrhea dump with a whole crap ton of caffeine in my system? Of all the times I could have died, or of all the ways I could have died in my life, I die by taking a dump. Well, actually, I got saved while I was taking a crap. Uh, again, it's a truthful channel, so... Um, I can't just be like, oh, I got saved while I was on uh, the riding the bull at the state fair. No, that would uh, completely be a lie. Or I got saved while climbing Mount Everest. Or I got saved while fighting Godzilla. No. I'm telling you guys the absolute mag mega truth. Um, but... Let's get back to me about being about uh, me being about to die. I was flipping out. I had no idea what to do other than having the severe fear of having a heart attack at any given second. This went on for about like two minutes. But I was about, I was going to die in less than a minute. But here's the thing. I prayed to God. I was like, God, please save me. Please help me. I ingested way too much caffeine. I, I'm sorry, God. It was an accident. Yes, it really was an accident because I didn't know what I was doing was wrong. So that's considered as an accident. I was, it, it was an accident, God. Please, I don't want to die like this. I don't want my cause of death to be heart attack while taking a crap on the toilet. Please save me, God. Please save me. I don't want to die like this. I don't want to die like this, God. Please. I have my whole life in ahead of me to serve you, to glorify you. Please save my life, God. Immediately after I said amen. Immediately after that. Not even a second after that. 0 0.1 second after that. I, my heart, I, I, I calmed down, no panic attacks, no anxiety attacks. My heart rate went from 70 beats, like, in, like, 20 seconds. My heart rate was at least, like, 300. Um, so, um, my heartbeat was beating as fast as I can tap my finger it was like this. My heart was beating that fast. Not joking whatsoever. I'm not exaggerating. It was beating that fast. So now you guys know how close I was to having cardiac or a heart attack. Um, And I was only... 2014, I turned 22 in November 13th. I was only 22 years old, about to have a heart, die of a heart attack. So, uh, there was nothing I could have done to save me. I couldn't call an ambulance. The only person I could have called was 
fight. Somebody who would comfort, who knew how to, knows how to comfort people when they're right about to die. Which I had no idea who to call for that. I couldn't call my family to come out. It was like five, four or five in the morning. If they came out, they would have clearly not made it in time. They lived 30 minutes away from my old, uh, my old apartment, my, the apartment that I was in before, uh, in my townhouse. And, uh, ambulances and stuff would have gotten here within like almost 10 minutes. Again, I had not, I didn't even have a minute left to live. But I prayed, and then everything within that minute subsided. It drifted off, drifted out of me. Um, and then it was another two minutes to do my business and get out of the bathroom and then lay down. And I was actually able to take a nap for an hour with my eyes shut. If you can't, that's just so awesome because I had five monsters in my system and I was still able to go to sleep. That's impossible, but nothing is impossible with God. God removed all that caffeine from my system. All of it evaporated out of my system and I had this peace and comfort that God answered my prayer, that he saved my life. He like, I guess like touched me on my shoulder that would, I couldn't see him, but he probably like put his hand on my shoulder and healed me. Um, so yeah, that's my testimony of how God saved my life after I was about to have a heart attack so, and, and die. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't take too much monster. Don't take five, don't take even three cans of monster. Especially five. Don't take more than two cans of monster. Don't. And there's two servings in each can. There's two servings in each can, and I drank all two servings all five times. So, not only that, but let's, um, before I end this video, let's do a little experiment. So, about 156 mg times five equals 780. So I ingested 780 mg of caffeine in my system in less than three hours. So, yeah. So let me know in the comments below how, how close you guys were to dying before in whatever way, like a car crash or... Um, overdose on medications or drugs or something like that. If you're only if you're comfortable, share with me your experience in the comments down below of how God saved your life. Hope you guys enjoy this video and God bless.